Homemade music. This is a series of short online sessions about music making at home with your children during lockdown. It's based on themes that teachers and pupils have been exploring in primary schools with us, and we hope the whole family are going to find homemade music entertaining. We'll be putting a new session online each week. It's all about having fun with sounds and music, tuning the ears of children and parents to music beyond the confines of harmony and hit tunes and popular classics. It's not about acquiring musical chops or reading music or practicing scales. We embrace free music, found sounds, music for non-musicians and musicians. It's all about people discovering or rediscovering their musicality, tapping into the music that's inside them and that's all around us. So, Homemade Music 1. It's a sonic version of Kim's game. Preparation. You're going to need a blindfold for each player. You also need to choose a selection of objects that can make 10 good sounds. They should include some found objects like a stone in a can, a sheet of paper, an elastic band, and also some more orthodox musical implements like a xylophone or a mobile phone or a music box, things like that. Put them all on a tray and cover them with a cloth before any of the players have seen them. So this is how you play the game. Blindfold all the players. Make your sequence of ten sounds twice. Then cover the objects and take off the blindfolds. Ask the children, or the adults, to identify the objects from their memory of the sounds. One answer each, please. Hold up the object when it's identified. See how many objects aren't identified, and then take the cover off and show those objects too. Now, here's some variations on the theme. When that first game is over, another person, adult or child, can assemble another collection of sounds and the game can begin all over again, and again, if they wish. When all the sounds have been discovered, each person chooses the objects that make their favourite sound and start to make that sound. Try playing together quietly, then loudly, slowly, then fast, or coming in with your sound one at a time and then all joining in at once on a signal. And here's another one. You can use mobile phones or other recording tools to get members of the family to collect 10 sounds from around the house or 10 sounds from outside. Then ask them to play back the sounds one by one and see if anyone can recognise them. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't got any items you can use as blindfolds, you can put all the objects in a box and play them with your hands inside the box so the objects can't be seen. And that's homemade music number one. Hope you've enjoyed playing it. Back next week with more.